everyone, today I'm going to be doing another DIY for you. I hope you enjoyed my intro, I just made it today and I'm really <laughs> excited about it. But yes, I'm going to be doing a custom blend of the RIT dyes. I have previously done a video using the RIT dyes, but just for one. But on the RIT dye website, they have a whole list. I will try and put up like a screenshot or like somehow work out how to do like the film screening recording because I haven't upgraded my phone and I need to do that. On the RIT dye website, there is literally like a hundred different colors listed and you go on, pick which one you want and then it will tell you the colour formula that you want to, well, that you need to make that colour. So I really, really wanted to do a trouser and jacket combo because previously I did a skirt and jacket which I really liked and I really <laughs> was drawn to the colour orange. Then had the a thought that it might look like a jail jumpsuit, you know, like full on orange is the new black style which may not be that cute. And then I was like, mm, I still want like a peachy colour. I don't know why, I was just like really drawn to that at the time. So then um, I went with peach. So I got three different colours, which we'll get into in the tutorial slash me attempting to do it. <laughs> if you're living in the UK, you can buy the Rit dyes on Amazon. That's where I got mine. But yeah, if you want to see me make my custom blend peach outfit, then keep on watching. So today we're working with these three dyes. They are in the shades Tangerine, Petal Pink and Tan. And as you can see here, I have already pre-bleached my denim. If you want to know how I did this, please look at my previous video that I will link in the description. Now it's time to fill your container with 13 litres of hot water. I use a mixture of hot water from my tap and the kettle. Make sure you are putting something down on the floor if you're working from a container and also make sure you are wearing gloves when working with dyes because it is chemicals. So now I'm going to add a half a cup of table salt to the water just before I put the dyes in. Now it's time to add your dyes, and I love this bit, it makes me feel like I'm a witch and I'm making a potion, but sprinkle it in and make sure you give it a good uh, mix around, because this time I did find that there was spots of the dye in certain spaces on the denim. Uh, I did mix it thoroughly, but I don't know really what happened here. Now it's time to add your clothing to the dye. Make sure you are dampening your denim before putting it in the dye. I'm not really sure why, but this is what you need to do. And I'm just going to submerge it completely and leave it for about an hour and a half. I'd say check on it about halfway through, give it a sort of mix around and then submerge it completely and then leave it again for a bit until the colour's the right colour you want. Now that I'm happy with the colour, I'm going to give it a quick rinse off in the bath and then transfer it straight to the washing machine to get all the rest of the dye off. Oh, 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 oh,
And now I'm just repeating the exact same steps for my trousers. I didn't want to put them in together. I just didn't feel like there was enough ratio of dye and water for the clothing. And I was happy to take the time to do both separately. And here is the final colour, it turned out a lovely peach colour, nice and pastel compared to my previous video where it was like a highlighter yellow. You can still see the splotches a little bit where the dye sort of splattered but I'm really really happy with the results and I can't wait to wear it out. And that's the end of the video. I hope that you found that quite informative and if not, I hope maybe a little bit inspirational to go and try and do this yourself. I also just want to again promote secondhand and sustainable fashion. I know we're all guilty of like the fast fashion trends, but if you are planning on buying the coloured denim things that are everywhere in the stores at the moment, go on eBay and buy yourself some secondhand denim. The jacket and the trousers that were featured in this video together combined were £5.28 as a total, including postage. I would, I don't know, we're helping the environment a little bit, I mean we are using chemicals so maybe not, but you know what I mean. I always just feel a bit better when I buy secondhand. <laughs> If you have liked this video, please like and subscribe and comment. Um, I hate saying that, I think everybody does really, don't they? And also I will be linking my social medias in the description, so my Instagram and my Twitter. I mostly just chat about RuPaul's Drag Race and post photos of my outfits, so if <laughs> that sounds good then have a little follow. And I will see you around sometime. <laughs>